How's it going, everyone? Andre Pillow, player development professional here at Blyfield Country Club and founder of DNA Golf Instruction. I wanted to talk briefly about ball position and the ins and outs of selecting clubs and where they should be positioned um, in our stance. And I think that we've made it more complicated than we need to, um, but the standards need to you know, kind of be out there and, and we'll start a good conversation about, about ball position. So I have my seven iron here. And there's a couple things about ball position and our dress position that are important. Right now, we're talking more about placement in our stance. So with my seven iron, a mid iron, if I'm um, putting that club right behind the golf ball and getting my dress position, I tend to want that ball to be neutral to maybe a hair back. Okay? What I don't want is to have it way back. And I definitely don't want to have it out of what I call the box. When I talk about the box, I'm talking about a box that starts from the middle of my right foot and the middle of my left foot extends out past the ball. And no matter what club I'm using and what position that I'm in, every golf ball should be within that framework. If it's not, if it's out here, well, in my mind, I have to do something extra to get to that golf ball uh, to hit it correctly, okay? If it's back here, same thing. I have to do something extra to get my body to reach it. We are not within the framework of our setup and our stance. So that's the first key. Always have the golf ball in what we like to call the box, okay? Um, if I have my pitching wedge, I may have... A few different positions similar to my seven iron I don't mind if you're fairly neutral especially novice players if we keep things centered it's easier for our body to understand how to get back to square and a lot of times for amateurs and, and golfers that aren't playing a lot um, I think we complicate things by thinking about uh, moving that golf ball around if you put it in the middle you're okay but with that with that wedge I do st still think you can play it a little bit further back and there are instances where I'm hitting a punch shot where I might even force it back even a little bit more where I'm hitting you know, down and through with more of an abbreviated finish. I understand those three places because I practice with them and I have an expectation of what's going to happen in each one of those places. But once again, with the wedge and the seven iron, I never ever play that off of my front foot. Wonder why? Well, what do we do with our irons? Our irons are really designed to hit down and through, okay? And in hitting down and through, we don't want to have it off our front foot. We put things on our front foot, like our driver, our three wood, maybe a long iron. I don't do it with my hybrid, um, but you know those clubs, because we're trying to catch it a little more on the upslope. Um, and I probably would take that, that, that three iron out of that, but maybe a driving iron off the tee I might play uh, a little forward. Um, but other than that, with irons, we're trying to hit down, ball first, and through. With those other clubs, my driver, that I do tee up, I'm actually playing that off of my front foot so that I can catch it as the club starts to work up and my body works around. Okay, that's the reason why we're playing um, it off our front foot. But same thing being said there, if we are playing it off our front foot and I see guys that are like this, I make sure that that golf ball, even if it's on the front foot, is in the box. Make sure it stays in the box. Okay, now another um, quick thing to point out here with our dress position, you might notice it. I don't care what club we have in our bag, our hands in the club are going to sit in the same place. And for me, that's really the middle of my belt buckle there and the inner thigh of my uh, left leg there. It's kind of where the club sits with every single club in my bag. Okay, so that's our pitching wedge. And if I grab my 7 iron, doesn't matter the ball position, the club should sit pretty much in the same place. Okay? A little bit of shaft lean where this right thumb would draw a line right in front of that golf ball because we know with centrifugal force that club will release. But with our conversation and what we're talking about, this club and that pitching wedge both sat fairly in the same place. Okay? Now, if I grab my driver, Move that out a little bit here, kind of on the edge of this mat. It should really, even though the ball position might be a little different, 
it pretty much sits in the same place between my belt buckle and that inner thigh on my left leg. Okay, so think about that. Being consistent, despite what club you have, our setup doesn't change. What changes is the club position and the length of the ball is away from us based on the club that we're using. And to give you an example of that, from my back camera there, you may be able to see this. You know, same thing. Positions there is the same, and we expect to have our setup, our arms dangle. We don't want our arms way out here with a lot of space in between here, we don't want our arms too close. We want to make sure that we have a good setup, our shoulders are out past our toes, we're maintaining our posture, and we can get about one hand between the butt end of that club, um, or, yeah, in, in our body, okay? So that's the pretty much the, the seven iron setup. And once again, the driver, I'm gonna just kinda exaggerate out here because this mat's a little too small for my driver. But if I take that same setup, my hand position really should be pretty much in the same spot. It should not change. It should not adjust just because I have this club. It doesn't go out further because I have my driver. We want to make sure that we're consistent about our positioning. Now, there are golfers that are a little closer, a little far away, but I guarantee they're fairly consistent with every shot and they're doing the same thing for a particular reason. Um, and there's several examples of that on tour. Um, and you may, may come up with some, maybe tag, tag one on this video if you can come up with a name. Um, but that's just something to think about in relation to body position. We are taking our setup. The driver club was out further. The seven iron you know, wasn't out that far because it's a shorter club. So we got a slightly different angle, but really the hand position should not change. Okay? So that's just a little help, something to think about with your address position, ball position, and remember, the biggest thing is that no matter what we do, we want that golf ball to remain inside the box between the middle part of both of our shoes there. It extends out past the ball. Make sure that we are putting that golf ball in there, and I think that'll, that'll help you um, with more shots in the upcoming season. Okay? Thanks for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day.